According to the Ghana Driver and Vehicle Licensing Authority, DVLA, there are about 29 million vehicles registered in Ghana. Out of the 29 million vehicles, 72% of them are powered by petrol, 27% of them are powered by diesel, and less than 1% are powered by gas and other energy sources. So imagine a country of 33 million population with 29 million registered vehicles, and 99% of these vehicles are powered by fossil fuel. At this time that prices of fuel are on the rooftop, no wonder Ghanaians are feeling the heat more than many countries in the world. But today, I have a piece of good news for you. And the good news is that Design and Technology Institute is in collaboration with Mana Mobility to bless the beautiful country Ghana with the first ever made in Ghana affordable electric cars by the end of January 2023. It will be something which is developed, produced here in Ghana, so from Ghanaian people for Ghana. This is a big difference to what how normally an OEM would operate uh, here in this country. So we want to do it here and the entire week we are here now spending on how to make the right concept for this market. So we had experts coming in from all different areas. Uh, we had the Design and Technology Institute from Accra here helping us to find the right way of doing it. So in this video, we would like to share with you what the Design and Technology Institute is all about, what is MANA Mobility and the importance of these vehicles they are going to produce in the country. But before we start, please support us by liking this video and also subscribing to the channel for more Ghana videos like this. Thank you very much for liking. Now, let's get into it. Since the beginning of this year, fuel prices have been curving out of control. Therefore, that is having a stronger impact on both domestic and global economic performance. In fact, the higher cost of fuel prices is affecting different varieties like production cost, inflation, interest rates, employment, and many others. And all these challenges have brought about a higher cost of living, which is making life difficult for people. Europe, for instance, is currently facing the worst worst energy crisis ever. Soaring energy prices are fueling inflation, but also discontent among people who are struggling financially, and not only in France, but across parts of Europe. And some say that unless things get better, the EU could face a winter of social unrest. I'm protesting against rampant inflation, and I want excess profits to be taxed to help ordinary people. This is because Russia has cut supplies of gases to the continent, and we are all feeling it, yeah. As long as fuel remains a crucial macroeconomic valuable, any significant price increase of it will surely damage the local and the global economies. So solving these higher fuel prices issues to maintain economic growth in Ghana and other things is why Design and Technology Institute and Mana Mobility are ready to bless the beautiful country Ghana with the first ever made in Ghana affordable electric cars. The Design and Technology Institute DTI was launched in March 2016. It is the hub for engineering and design practice. This institute seeks to provide a platform for students from various universities, polytechnics, technical and vocational institutes to gain industry experience by working closely with artisans on a factory floor by experienced instructors. Students of Design and Technology Institute are further exposed to field site visits to enable them to experience firsthand what transpired into the industry. And Mana Mobility is also a new company based in Accra. They are in Ghana to open a hub for the design and manufacturing of affordable electric cars that are going to have batteries instead of fuel tanks and an electric motor instead of internal explosion engine in the country. The company with its lead investor Scalo has already hit the ground running with two stakeholders meetings resulting in the design of the MANA mobility prototype. And now these two are going to collaborate to produce electric cars in Ghana. And this was revealed by Ms. Constance Swanika, founder and the chief executive officer of Design and Technology Institute. And again, according to Mr. Peter Swagzenbauer, who is the chief executive officer of MANA mobility, the company's vision is targeting to produce 20,000 cars in Ghana. And 
Ghanaians will design and make all these cars because now Ghana has experts in the country, including students of the Design and Technology Institute. With everything moving on smoothly, production will start by 2023 after building the initial version of the vehicle for experimental purposes. According to Mr. Peter Swanson Power, again, these MANA electric cars will surely come with multiple benefits comparing them to fuel vehicles because electricity is not dispensed or burned in terms of gallons and that is the fact that they will sell the MANA vehicles with internal fixed batteries of 30 kilowatts hour which is going to be shop replaceable to allow the upgrade as technology evolves over the vehicle's lifetime. The MANA electric cars will significantly reduce CO2 emissions in the atmosphere. These vehicles will need no fuel, so you can save money on gases. They are also environmental friendly as they do not emit pollutants. They require lower maintenance because of their efficient electric motors and better performance. It will be something which is developed, produced here in Ghana, so from Ghanaian people for Ghana. This is a big difference to what how normally an OEM would operate uh, here in this country. So we want to do it here and the entire week we were here now spending on how to make the right concept for this market. So we had experts coming in from all different areas. Uh, we had the Design and Technology Institute from Accra here helping us to find the right way of doing it. And the outcome was the car we just presented here. And uh, now the next steps are for the next five, six months, we are building some prototypes so that we can see also in real life and not only on PowerPoint. And uh, as soon as we have the prototypes ready, comes a phase where you need to get uh, the registration right, you need to legalize the car here in this market. So I would say somehow in spring, summer 2023, we are probably ready to get started with a production. That's the current plan. So we are going to follow everything and whatever that will come out, we will make sure we let you know. Thank you very much for watching this episode. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions inside the comment section below. My name is Sheriff Harana. Please subscribe and have a joyful life. Macrao.